Okay, for the next pieces, for the ink, I will select it. There it is. I've got it right here. And insert motion tween. That puts the motion tween on. I'm going to select it here and go to glow one. That puts glow one here. I will go to the next frame right here, select it, and say glow two. And then see if it takes both ways. The first keyframe reverts back to red here, so what I'll do is select it and then just manually change it back to the right color. There we go. And so now all of them will change equally at the same time. And you can see when it jumps back here, it actually turns off. And so I'm not quite sure that I like that. So I might have to end up removing these frames afterwards. And I'll go back to fit in window. And I've got this nice glow that happens right here. And that's pretty neat. Now, if it jumps to the next frame, it's going to disappear. So I don't like that. So what I'll do is I'll highlight all of these frames and then remove frames. And so now, so far, this is the end of my animation. Now, if I want to, I could highlight all those frames again and hit F6. And, well, if I do that, the animation has continued, but I do have the um, I do have the glow in effect. Okay, instead of doing that, it's going to be a little bit tedious, but I might do it anyway, and that is I will undo what I just did. Control Z till I disappear there. Okay, what I might do is for this guy, I can put in a regular keyframe, F6, no problem, because it's got no glow attached to it, no animation attached to it. But for these guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert blank keyframes. This guy also insert a blank keyframe. And then what's smarter for me to do is to get each piece, like this piece here, and just copy it, control C on my keyboard. And then right here, when I go to this frame, edit, paste in place. That'll paste it in the same place. And so for this guy, same thing. I'll just highlight it, control C on my keyboard, go to the next frame, edit, paste in place and what's the advantage of that is now I don't have a animation a motion tween on it just a gray keyframe so I can do I'll have a lot more flexibility in working with it later and let's see here control C on my keyboard go here and edit paste in place and right here this one control C go to here and edit paste in place, which is control shift V. So now at the end I have all gray keyframes with no motion tween on them and it's very flexible if I wanted to, let's say, animate them all to fly away or something like that. I could do it all separately on separate layers and I'm ready to go. Okay, now that I have the logo animating in and coming in in pieces, now I want to start adding in some images to uh, promote the brand of this machinery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer here. I'll add it to the top. So I'll click the top layer first, add a new layer, and now this is here. Now another good thing about this is, is I want to add the images now from here on, and now that I had those keyframes here that don't have a motion tween, it's really easy to just select like that and hit F5 or right click insert frame and add frames and once again it's not going to change the motion tween because these are regular frames gray frames as opposed to the baby blue motion tween frames so you can see how easy it is to add that on there but I have a new layer here now at the top and I'm going to name this layer so I can start getting a little order here image one and then I'm going to lock these other layers so that I don't accidentally grab some of these pieces and move them around. So now that the logo has come in, it's time to start looking at some images. So I'll put a keyframe here, F6, and I'm going to import some images. Image to the library, and I'm going to import this shot 
of the machinery to start with. So now it's in there. I can, let's see here, I can drag it out onto the stage. And now that it's out here on the stage, the first thing I'm going to do is, is select it and convert it to a symbol. So I'm going to say modify, convert to symbol, movie clip, and I'll just call it IM1, for short for image 1, and click OK. So now it's a movie clip, and as a movie clip I can do alpha tweening to it, meaning I can have transparency applied to it, glow effects, all kinds of things that I can do to it. Now what I'm going to do with this one is, do for this is I want to have this kind of fade in. So I'm going to have it here and what I want to do is I want to play with it with this 3D rotation tool. So I'll grab the 3D rotation tool and I'll move this green handlebar. So I'll put the um, cursor over the green and then I'll just see what that does. Okay, so that does this kind of a thing. All right, I like that. Puts it into space a little bit there. I could do it that way, or I could do it the other way, which doesn't seem to work as well. I'll move it over here. Seems like it makes the most sense to have it kind of working like that. I could try the other modes, the red, flips it like that if I wanted to. Control Z will undo. Let's try the blue one. The blue one moves okay I like that. So what I'll do is I've got it there just like that now and I'm going to just say insert Insert, um, select it, insert motion tween. I'm going to need some frames for this though. So we'll say, I'll go out here and put F5 for the frames. So from 75 to 95, which is 20 frames, which would be approximately less than a second. I might need some more. Let's make it five more. So now I have five more. And now I will drag it across and now I should have an animation which I do and what I want to do is as it goes over here I want to get a little bit smaller so I'll get my transform tool select it and make it a little bit smaller and so now the animation happens like this so it kinda looks like it's going away from us on the first frame if I wanted to I could make it even a little bit bigger or I could move it over a little bit more And what I might want to do is I might want to fade it in so I'm gonna go to frame 80 here right click insert keyframe all and then back to the first frame, select it with the selection tool and go alpha and take it to zero. So it's alpha zero and then when we get to here, select it alpha 100%. So now I have it fade in, it exists for a while, exists for a while and then I'll have it fade out as um, it gets to 95, I'll insert a keyframe in there, insert keyframe all, go to the last frame, select it, and alpha back down to zero. So now the effect is fades in, you see it for a while, and then exists, and then fades out. So let's play the whole thing. Control play, this moves in and then that happens. Now as you can see timing is very important and so I'm gonna to need to work with my timing. 